this is what we're going to draw, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it! Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw a First World War tank. And you need to think of this as basically this kind of a box. And so we'll draw a box first, like that. And then we'll have it going in this direction, so that's going to be the front. We want to extend that line out that way and extend this line that way. About halfway there, it actually wants to come down a little bit as well. So this will be the track on the side, and you'll want to have a kind of double thickness on that side. This is now going to curl around like that, and this will then come up to curl around there. And we want to continue that sort of angle there, across there, and this will come across there as well. So that this follows that line down until it kind of disappears into that angle. Similarly, it will happen here that this will then kind of tuck around into there. Now we've got the same going on here, so that would be straight across and about halfway. We wanted to bring it down a little bit, and then that will curl in there and curl in there like that and again this is coming down and we're going to see a little bit there as well but that is cutting right across there now this box part the, this is the bit that you kind of sit in here um, this is actually so that's kind of there um, this wants to be up a little bit so we have a funny little kind of box bit on the top there and it comes down there like that and then you can also have bits sticking out there um, now the one complicated bit is going to be the gun on the side so imagine this is kind of stuck like th that there and then this is going to want to follow this angle here that will stick out there and then it will come down uh, maybe not quite so wide actually more like that and then it kind of comes down there like that and here is the opening for the gun which will come like that and that's sort of quite thick with armour plating there and, and the gun will actually kind of sweep around it in a little curve and will be it's a cannon roller isn't it uh, like that good let's see if we can draw this a bit <laughs> so I'm going to come all the way around this outside line this is the track and then that will want to be quite a slightly slightly kind of lumpy as it comes around there and then the track wants to following this angle across again like that and then we want this on the little box sitting up here and it goes down and there are in fact two little kind of porthole things there and then that will come down and there and there and we want a similar kind of thing happening here and then that will come oh slightly wobbly on the edge again for those tracks now what we're going to want to do is to kind of have this a little bit 
kind of inside there like that and there will be little kind of dots or rivets or something holding it all together there and then we can bring this box out from there just underneath and that will then come here and we want a curve there and then the cannon will be coming through there like that and then that will fit in there and there's going to be a bit of shading in there I think as well probably um, and then this can come down just slightly below that's where it will be on the corner that will then come down there there we go now there's a big kind of wheel thing in here to take the track around hidden inside but there's a kind of a tensing mechanism that goes a bit like that. All the way along the bottom you've got slightly longer, slightly bigger rivets which are kind of holding in the, the, the runners inside, the wheels inside. And that will be something like that. And then you're going to want to have these verticals, which is the armour plating. And again, you've got little kind of rivets holding that together. And you want rivets on either side of these um, armour plates holding the whole thing together and all the way around too. So there's quite a lot of dottiness. Now there's going to be quite a lot of, um, obviously, the you know, it's a centenary of the First World War. So obviously people are going to want quite a lot of... First World War kind of stuff to draw. So let me know what would be good for you, what you would like to learn to draw. That's kind of Second World War, First World War rather, um, stuff. When you are sure that the pencil, that the ink is dry, erase the pencil. And then we're going to have the shadow coming this way. I think we can have some shadow down on that side there like that. Just to bring it into focus a bit. And under there. I think we'd want some shadow on this side of the gun. And then maybe have a little bit under the turret holding the... Making the turret kind of come forward. And maybe that little piece under there could be shadowed as well. Just a bit of sort of grassy, muddy stuff in the background to kind of put it into some kind of context. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and learn how to draw a Second World War Spitfire or try the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for new drawing videos every Monday and Friday. And go and check out my website, shoerainer.com. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.